Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call today. If you would take a minute to tie up the uh, win against Tulane, what you expect to see back at home Saturday against Temple, please. Well, just a word about I, I thought Tulane played well. I, you know, I, I, they've been improving each week, and I, I was really impressed with the, the running backs and, and their defense and the way they did things. And, and you know, we, we hung in there and, and got a win. But, you know, we, we, uh, defensively, we, I thought played played fairly decent and well. And offensively, I didn't think we played well. And, you know, we got to get better if we're going to continue with saying success there. But, uh, again, a win is a win you enjoy. But, you know, I've been around football long enough to know that you got to play much better on offense if you're going to continue to win. And it's something that we continue to strive to get done and work at. And with that, I'll open up to any questions. Questions for Coach O'Leary, please. Star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. And we'll hear from Dan Totora with Dan Totora Broadcast Media. Hi, Coach. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, Dan. Yourself? Doing very well. Thanks for asking. Just wanted to take a look at, you know, some of those things that, that you've been able to take away from your quarterback, Justin Hallman. Throwing touchdowns late, he did it against Tulane to keep that separation. He did it earlier in the season against BYU. What can you say about what you've been able to see in his progression this year? Well, he's a work in progress. Each 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 week, a different issue pops up. But you know, I think the biggest issue that we talk about all the time is missed opportunities, and you only get so many in a game. And and when you get that opportunity, you got to take advantage of it. And and we we've fallen short at times regarding that in the run game and the pass game and and it, the pass game falls directly back on him and you know there's a lot of young mistakes and he's working that and he's getting better but it's very frustrating as far as to see opportunities out there and not take advantage of them and, and again you know I, I think eventually it's going to catch up with you if we if we if we continue that trend but overall I think he, he's doing he's getting better each game and. and certain aspects of the game, but it, you know, nowhere close where he's the finished product yet. There's so much learning going on each game, each experience. And But he's a guy that works that hard, and then pleased from that standpoint, uh, we just got to basically understand the situations in game, down distance, and stuff like that, that, you know, uh, takes experience. But, you know, sometimes you got to understand you don't need 40 yards, you need six for a first down. And take what's available defensively. So those are the things we're working with him on. And, and each week he's getting a little better, probably not as quick as I'd like, but he is getting better. And then as far as your defense, like you said, when the offense isn't taking all those opportunities that are there that present themselves, they can catch up with you. What can you say about some of your defensive players that have stood forward as leaders, so to speak, that have been able to make up for maybe some of those missed opportunities on offense? Well, you know, like this past week, we uh, we we had a punt, uh, dropped a, a punt snap and a fumble on the eight-yard line, and uh, offense uh, deflected interception on the 24, and then the 25 had a fumble, and, and the defense, you know, came out and only gave up six points that whole time, so... Yeah, you know, I think that they're out there playing hard with great effort. I think Clayton Gathers, I, I think, is is really the guy. Thomas Niles, I, I and, and Terrence Plummer. I think that they they understand what has to get done. And you know, I don't believe in sudden change. I, I think you play defense the same way all the time. And and they understand that. And they're out there to make plays. And they they enjoy the game. They they have a passion. They enjoy the game. They enjoy playing. And. And, uh, you know, they play well together. Uh, obviously, the second half of Tulane, I thought we missed way too many tackles. And, you know, you can credit the running backs for uh, Tulane. I thought they did a nice job of jump-stepping and doing some things that caused those. But uh, but overall, I'm pleased defensively. We've had our moments in the games, but I think overall they, they're playing a, a, a pretty consistently, they, you know, each quarter and each down. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. Okay, no problem. And next we'll hear from Matt Breen with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh, just wondering Hello? if you could evaluate the um, evaluate PJ Walker's uh, play this season. <laughs> I love that kid. I, I think he's a good player. He really is. He he makes things happen. You know, he, some guys have that it factor. He has it. He can hit you with his feet, his arm. I think he plays smart. I, I think they got him in the right scheme of what he can do and and make plays. And 
And uh, again, I, I think Temple, uh, in my opinion, watching what I've seen, is is probably one of the most improved teams in the conference uh, as far as from where they were. And I, I think they're playing very solid on offense, solid on defense, kicking game, and. I think Matt's done a terrific job with them as far as, you know, as a team and getting better and filling the right spots they need to fill in from last year. And, you know, I'm impressed with them on film. And uh, I think they, you know, their record is what it is for a reason. I think they, they can score. They they don't give up a lot of points. They they basically can put points on the board. And, and then they play very solid on special teams. So I think he has a very good football team there. And, you know, I, I think they, they had some issues with Houston last week, but I, I think penalties and things of that sort caused some bad field position for them. And P.J. turned the ball over four times last week. Is that just like a, yeah. a growing pains of a young quarterback? Well, he's been good. I've watched him on film now in, in all their games and stuff, and I think he's very consistent. I think he's a very headsy guy, and he knows where he's going with the ball. And, I think I think Houston did a good job of get, of jumping some routes underneath and showed one look and jumped into another and and maybe confused him a little bit. But he'll get out of that. He's uh, he's he's a very good football player and you know he basically makes things happen with that ball in his hand. Great, thanks, Coach. Okay. And we'll move on to Ryan Bass with Bright House Sports Network. Hey, Coach, just curious uh, at all. Have you thought about a quarterback change going into the Temple game? No, not really. I'm going to pretty much play play the quarterbacks that I've been playing and, and basically not hesitate if I think one guy needs to watch the game a little bit more to see the flow of it is do what we did last Saturday. Because I thought, I thought Nick went in and did a good job when he went in and, and moved and got 10 points on the board with him in there and, you know, I think basically it's uh, sometimes when you're young you have to see the speed of the game and, and calm down a little bit, and that's why we did that. And I, I think, you know, basically I have no problem doing that because I, I want that second quarterback to have some reps anyway. And if he, if I feel good about him putting in a game and the other guy's not getting things done as you'd like, then I think that's a decision that's made and uh, in no way affects who's starting. It affects basically at that moment, you know, just a change was needed. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Maybe any other questions for Coach O'Leary, please? Coach, we thank you for your time today. We look forward to talking to you again next Monday. All right. Thank you very much.